Scripture says, he who abides in love abides in God. This is the realization that we celebrate and worship. For where there is the presence of love, there ought to be worship. For God is the author of love, and he is the Holy One whom we worship. <laughs> Nick and Maddie believe just as God created and prepared the first home, he has created in them a heartfelt desire for one another, a bond of love that has grown as a, and has enriched them both. Today they have decided to seal that bond in a covenant and commitment of marriage. Therefore, it is their heartfelt desire to welcome you, to welcome you to share and to celebrate with them as they promise to face the future together, accepting whatever may lie ahead. For what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. For the beauty around us, for the strength that it offers and the peace that it brings, we are grateful. Falling in love is easy. Staying in love requires dedication. The vows that you make today, you are to keep until dead do you part. <laughs> Dear family and friends, having gathered in this beautiful place for the purpose of matrimony, who gives this woman to this man in marriage? Her mother and I. Thank you for my makeup. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you look so good. <laughs> Do you, Nick, take this woman whose right hand you now hold to be your lawfully wedded wife do you promise to be true and faithful husband, to cleave unto her and her only as long as life shall last? I do. Do you, Maddie, take this man whose right hand you now hold to be lawfully wedded as your husband? Do you promise to be his true and faithful wife, to cleave unto him and only him as long as life shall last? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. We present to you Mr. and Miss Roller. be standing here giving a speech as Maddie's maid of honor, I would have told you you have no idea who you're talking to. <laughs> After a volleyball game one day, a friend of Nick's came up to me and Maddie and told me, or to me, and told me that I should really give her a chance. I thought about it for a few seconds and thought, no, better not. <laughs> a few more months went by and it was Christmas time, which meant she would be around a lot. She bought me a Christmas gift, took me to get ice cream, and brought me a bag to a friend's house. She tried all she could to get me to like her. I know, I was an asshole. <laughs> a few weeks after Christmas, I decided I would give her a chance and bought her a Christmas gift and gave it to her, and that's where our friendship started. And I'm so glad I decided to give her a chance. This would be really awkward if I hadn't. <laughs> all right. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Cody and Nick has been my best friend for almost 20 years. I've been friends with Nick for so long that the rollers are like family to me. 
In the first grade, I went to football practice and met this big kid in an orange jersey. I remember thinking to myself, with this kid at center and his dad Keith at O-line, there's no way we'll lose. <laughs> we went on to lose every game only scoring one touchdown. <laughs> I was out of town the summer that Nick and Maddie first met. He was telling me all about this girl named Maddie Dees. Nick told me she's, she was a couple grades below him, but she was so smart and so pretty. I'm so glad Nick found someone as kind, smart, and funny as Maddie. I've never met another woman that will do the worm in the middle of a bar. <laughs> Nick, you've come a long way, and I'm sure you know that Maddie was a big reason for that. And I know the love that you two share will last a lifetime, and you will be able to get through anything together. So I guess I should say a few words about my brother. <laughs> I'm thankful for Nick because he's the reason I'm tough. All those years of being put in a headlock and tackled in a game of backyard football really can make a chubby 10-year-old girl pretty tough <laughs> and cry a lot. I'm so glad I get to be a part of your special day and I love you both so much and I can't, see what, I can't wait to see what all you accomplish in the future together. May your marriage be filled with love for your family and for each other. Congratulations. feel like home.